One. I was on the bus. Two. I was sitting in the back. Three. There were rockers back there. Four. We were coming back from Lacey. Five. A 13 year old looking girl got on the bus. Six. She sat down in the back of the bus. Seven. She was wearing pink. Eight. She had blonde hair. Nine. She looked real innocent like. Ten. She started talking, talking, talking to the rockers really fast by herself. Eleven. She was talking to the rockers. Twelve. She was talking really fast. Thirteen. She was talking about herself, I think. Fourteen. I wasn't really listening. Fifteen. All of a sudden she said, Sixteen. I'm really into Satan. Seventeen. She pulled out a book called Black Mass. Eighteen. She said, I'm really into Satan. Nineteen. She said, this Christian boy used to write me letters, but that was before I was weird. Twenty. She looked up. Twenty-one. She grabbed the book from the rockers. Twenty-two. This is my stop. Twenty-three. She jumped off the bus. Twenty-four. The rockers said, what a freak. Twenty-five. I was in Seattle. Twenty-six. I was eating in Woolworths. Twenty-seven. The man on my left kept standing up and walking around. Twenty-eight. He could hardly talk to the waitress. Twenty-nine. He could hardly talk at all. Thirty. He couldn't look in anyone's eye. Thirty-one. The old woman on my right could hardly stop talking. Thirty-two. Could you give me a piece of pie, honey? Thirty-three. No, that one, the third from the bottom. Thirty-four. Could you give me some sugar from my coffee, honey? Thirty-five. Could you ring me up, honey? Thirty-six. The girl to her right was reading Tom Robbins and trying not to look up. Thirty-seven. Her arms were covered with cigarette burns. Thirty-eight. She was really skinny. Thirty-nine. Her makeup was running. Forty. She was probably eighteen or nineteen. Forty-one. We were all eating at the counter at Woolworths. Forty-two. I paid for my food and left a tip. Forty-three. I got up and went outside. Forty-four. I started walking towards the Pike Place Market. Forty-five. I saw a pretty girl in a pink shirt. Forty-six. Her hair was pulled back in a ponytail. Forty-seven. She was probably seventeen or eighteen. Forty-eight. She was wearing a leather jacket. Forty-nine. A huge reproduction of the famous picture of Charles Manson from Life magazine covered the back of her jacket. Fifty. Her purse was turquoise leather. Fifty-one. We were in a cheesy 24-hour diner in Aberdeen. Fifty-two. It was called the Smoke Shop. Fifty-three. It was late at night. Fifty-four. We were drinking mass coffee. Fifty-five. We were talking about music, fashion, philosophy, and the future. Fifty-six. Our waitress was taking forever to refill our coffee. Fifty-seven. Tam got, Tam got up and reminded her of our existence. Fifty-eight. We ca she came back with more coffee. Fifty-nine. She said, are you guys into metal? Sixty. Dylan said, yeah. Six Sixty-one. I said, sure. Sixty-two. Tam made a choking noise. Sixty-three. She said, what band? Sixty-four. Dylan said, Slayer, Destruction, Testament, Creator, Metallica. Sixty-five. She said, oh, serious headbanging stuff. Sixty-six. We all shrugged. Sixty-seven. She said, do you like Dawkin? Sixty-eight. We all shrugged. Sixty-nine. She said, they're playing tonight in Seattle. Seventy. We all nodded. Seventy-one. She said, I really like them. Seventy-two. She said, my girlfriend's boyfriend helped set up the sound for them yesterday, and he knew how much I liked them, so he got me one of their guitar picks. Seventy-three. She showed us the guitar pick. Seventy-four. She was probably about twenty-five. Seventy-five. She looked haggard and bedraggled. Seventy-six. Later, when I was walking to the bathroom, I heard her telling an old man at the counter, I'm so happy, I just bought two hits of acid. Now I can really have fun this weekend. Seventy-seven. No shit. Seventy-eight. No, really. I heard her say that. Seventy-nine. The bathroom was covered in an inch of liquid, and the man in there was wearing a gas mask. Eighty. On the way out, some guy walking in looked at Tam and then asked Dylan and me, how much does she cost? 